Hi dancers, I'm Greer, the point shoe specialist here at Discount Dance, and today I'm going to be talking to you about common point shoe misconceptions. So there are a ton out there, I'm sure that you've all heard many of them or come across them, so today I'm going to be talking about some of those misconceptions and myths about point shoes and then telling you the actual facts. Okay, so the next misconception that I hear a lot is that beginners need soft shoes and advanced dancers need hard shoes. That's not necessarily true. A lot of times a beginning dancer is not super strong, so you do wanna put her in a softer shoe, A, so that she can actually get onto the shoe, and B, so that she can work and develop the strength in her feet to properly get on point. So if you put a dancer who's not strong enough in a really, really hard shoe, what it can do is it can just kind of pop them up onto point instead of making them roll through and use the correct muscles from flat to demi onto a full releve. So it is kind of standard to think that you want a beginning dancer in a softer shoe to make life a little bit easier for her to get over the shoe, but also to get her to develop those proper muscles. And then more advanced dancers or professional dancers who are really, really strong, you might think only need hard shoes because they need them to last longer and just be super, super powerful and durable. Not necessarily the case because I've certainly come across new to point dancers who are extremely strong and have extremely high arches. And if I put them in something super soft, they're gonna pop over the shoe and cause injury or the shoe's gonna last them maybe one class because they're just really, really strong dancers. And then on the other side of the coin, you have some professional dancers who are extremely strong and have the correct technique and the correct muscle development, but they just prefer a softer shoe. It's all about preference. So I've seen beginner dancers who need really, really hard shoes, and I've seen advanced dancers who prefer really, really soft shoes. And it just totally depends on the dancer, and it's a case-by-case -case basis. So certainly not an across-the-board fact that beginners need soft shoes and advanced dancers need hard shoes. So the last misconception I'm gonna talk about is that ribbon and elastics should make the point shoe fit. That's never ever the case. Ribbon and elastic that you sew onto your point shoes should only kind of make the shoe A, stay on because you know without that, the shoe will be kind of flying off the foot. So the, the elastic keeps it held on and then the ankle gives you ankle support. The ribbon on the ankle gives you ankle support, but it should never make the point shoe properly fit. It should only kind of hold the shoe onto the foot. So if a shoe is too big and you're trying to make it fit by using ribbon and elastic, that's incorrect and that can lead to injury really, really easily. Um, and also the drawstrings on a point shoe should not make the shoe fit either. Pulling the drawstrings to tighten it on the sides should just be for aesthetic purposes. Maybe it's a little bit baggy on the sides and you're pulling the drawstring just to give you that nice tight aesthetic fit. But pulling the drawstring should never be the thing that makes the shoe properly fit and ribbon and elastic on the shoe should never make the shoe properly fit. That should just be to hold it onto the foot and give you the proper support you need to dance. So I'm sure there are a million other misconceptions out there that you guys have heard of. Drop a comment if you want me to talk about those. And thanks for watching, dancers.